see how he was with her. Our son is obsessed. She gives me, I don't know, strange feeling. I saw that you gave an interview where you were talking about intimacy coordinators um, and I was wondering what kind of involvement you had, both of you, in like mapping those scenes and deciding how you were going to do it. Was that like a collaborative thing with your coordinator? Completely, yeah. completely collaborative. Yeah. From the, from the, yeah, from the very first moment we met um, with Adelaide Waltrop as our intimacy coordinator and Lisa Barsasa and Glenn Leyburn are just our gorgeous directors and we, we just all got in a room together and just started mapping it out and, and you know that the psycholo the psychology behind each scene, mm. the the tone, um we labelled privately our, our each sex scene. We mm. let them grow, we knew where they were gonna land. Um yeah it was really empowering and very inclusive. Yeah. Mm. And there was a bit of time as well which you don't always get to mm. just bring quite random ideas to to think of what this might look like, although that's not really our business that's more to do with the cinematography but mm -hmm. offering shapes and, and, and a physical landscape for the DOP to shoot you know because mm -hmm. it, it was very specific about how how they wanted these people to to seem and to look and to, to sort of map the body as, as, as they are doing. Mm. And I was wondering if with that first scene where you know the two of you first have your first sex scene together what um, was the thought process because obviously it's very different from your character is completely nude, whereas yours isn't. Was that like a conscious decision? Well, that is uh, one of the things that was taken from, that has stayed the same from Josephine Hart's yes. book. Mm -hmm. It was based on her book. Yeah. So um, yeah, we that, that came from that. So it was quite specifically written, wasn't it? Yeah. And it was brilliant to play that. I think, yeah, they, I think they saw that as a, as a sort of iconic moment, mm -hmm. which sort of linked all of the materials they were drawing from together. And, and actually, it really kind of sets the tone for the, their power play yeah. mm -hmm. and, and what that language is. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. with, the, with just one gesture and how it's, mm. how it, how she unwraps you, mm -hmm. is exactly. Mm -hmm. And of course, because all of these, these moments are just not planned. So, mm. so characters are, like he doesn't know he's going to go there and do that. So he's kind of, learning what what's going to happen mm -hmm. in the moment not completely not understanding it mm -hmm. like which i just think was really interesting it's like he's standing on ground that he's just not familiar with which... and I, that's so much fun and that happened also in the, their, their first encounter that we talked about oh, yeah. a lot with lisa mm. that those micro gestures that that permission is given a step is taken another step is taken and that's almost a um throwing down your gauntlet going what, what are you gonna a, a dare it was yeah. a dare every little step was a dare and they were both doing it and Lisa would say side by side holding hands you, you're doing the next step you're doing the next step yeah. together and then you know this kind of kind of fills out the rest of their relationship obviously you've both done kind of fantasy and superhero shows in the past how this compared to that experience lovely yeah, I was really keen to do something more domestic mm -hmm. um, uh, because of the sort of the, the delicacy of the emotions that are in play. Um, that's sort of my favourite thing, really, and I think that's why I wanted to do it. Yeah, I mean, definitely same for me. I feel like the pacing of this, um, even though so much is happening so quickly within the four episodes and it does kind of escalate so quickly, um, it felt as though we really had the time to sit within those moments of difficulty or truth mm. or whatever it was. And, and the unspoken. Th yeah. There's a lot of unspoken, whereas often in sci-fi stuff or, you know, all that epic stuff, it's all action. There's yeah. a lot of action. So this mm. was nice. Yeah. Mm. And how did you approach, obviously in the last episode, you both have very intense scenes that you have to film. What was your approach to that um, when you're you know, going into the film yet when you have that like really grief stricken scene um, where you confront uh, William's character. I mean, personally, it, it's sort of, I hate to say it, but it's just acting. Yeah. As in, I mean, it's real <laughs> tears, but you know, I, I'm, uh, I, you put yourself in someone else, in, in that character's shoes. Mm. And I have a child and I just feel for Ingrid and mm. I just channel what I feel and 
put it through her lens, I suppose. Mm. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, for me, I think it was just kind of, I don't really know what I did. I think it was um, a lot of music. <laughs> music really helped me on mm. this job for some reason. And Charlie and I had shared some songs um, and I don't know. I don't know. I think it was just like, I was really allowed time mm. to sit into that moment of discovery. Um, Lisa and Glenn were extremely kind of considerate of that. And so I felt as though there was no rush to, to get to that emotion or that moment. Mm. And um, yeah, I just really appreciated that. Mm. Also, we, we had the chance, what was brilliant was we did have a week's rehearsal, yeah. didn't we? Yeah, 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 yeah. Where we were able to build up trust and the relationships and talk about what the family, how the family functioned. Mm. Yeah. And, and that was really helpful, actually. Yeah. And obviously the, the show ends on a bit of an open-ended, ambiguous note. I was wondering, do you think there's scope for another series? What are your thoughts on that, on where your characters go from here? Musical scale. <laughs> yeah, the the Sun and Dance version. Oops, I did it again. Are we going there again? <laughs> it's a really, it's a, such an interesting ending, really, because I, I often have a resolution with the character that I'm playing, but the, the I was not able to fathom when he says that he would do it all again, despite mm -hmm. what's happened. And, and of course, Anna's ending is, is equally ambiguous, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, it is. You don't know what. You can see her having a, a growth spurt, but at that very last millisecond, mm -hmm. you don't know what she's, is she going to revert to that MO or, or what? You don't know if it's a departure or not. Mm. Growth spurt. Everything's an innuendo with this show. <laughs> Everything. It reminds me of the It is. Um, and then I just had one, I read that you were, rec were filming Happy Valley at the same time, around a similar time, and I was just wondering, obviously they're vastly different shows, what that experience was like trying to get into these different characters. More close, mm. up north, that was good. She's <laughs> <laughs> parking up north, isn't it? Yeah, it's up north. Um, it was great that like I had done that show before. This mm. was definitely taking my, um, a lot of brain space because we're establishing a world and, and you really are learning as we go we're building the road in front of us constantly um so it felt really good to go to something that if i was double jobbing that that would be the show to come mm, back mm -hmm. to because i mean that again just very lucky with writers and sally wainwright's incredible we had those scripts very early on that world i knew very well so luckily surrounded by you know, a scene partner with sarah Mm. Seen partner with Richard. <laughs> Pretty nice sandwich to be in. Yeah. Should we do a show together, all of us? Sarah. That would be that would be okay. weird for you, wouldn't it? I wouldn't get a word <laughs> in, no. I don't think. <laughs> I was wondering of oh, that's the scene, like the major scene, your death scene, your yeah. character's death scene. How how did you go about filming that? With like did you in terms of you like going over the railings? Mm -hmm. Um it was the only stunt on oh, okay. the show I believe or the only one I did obviously and um, yeah it was made very easy for me actually I mean we'd rehearsed it a couple of times and I had an amazing stunt double as well um, but it was more just kind of like going through the motions of what that build up is the moment of putting the hand on the rail mm. and kind of the decision of whether or not that's going to come across as because obviously it's kind of questioned mm. as to whether Jay lets himself go there it's um, ambiguous it's it? ambiguous yeah and it's kind of like well we wanted that to I hope it makes sense, but yeah. we wanted it to come across in that way, just with that positioning. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously it was a really difficult thing and walking in on Rich and Charlie and, and luckily we have an amazing intimacy coordinator, Adelaide, and everyone, it was, it was a close set. Mm -hmm. So um, mm -hmm. it was, you know, extremely uncomfortable and comfortable at the mm -hmm. same time. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so it was a really weird day. <laughs> so what was your reaction when you first read that like twist in the script or in the, in the, no in the novel? Uh, for me, I was just like, I just felt really sorry for mm. the character. I was just heartbroken. I mean, it's such a horrible thing to lose anyone you love, you know, and I know that's what kind of this is touching on so, so heavily. But for me, being the person that is experiencing that and, and, and who does die, it's, it's difficult because the character had so much to offer. Mm. Um, so it just feels like such a shame. I also think that as a viewer or, you know, yeah, an audience, you you know that he's going to find them mm. and you don't get the confrontation that you want, you mm -hmm. sort of want. Yeah. You want 
That's really you true, want to see yeah. the sparks fly. You want to know how William's going to behave, what they're going to say, how Jay's going to behave, what Anna's going to do, and it's taken from you. And mm. I think, weirdly, that affects you um, mm. physically mm. in a strange sort of way. The injustice of that moment yeah, yeah. sort of builds it up, it ramps it right up. Mm. I think. Mm -hmm.